What's up guys, YST here and welcome back to another Raid Shadow Legends video. And today, we just got some news regarding the new champion that will be replacing Arix in the daily login program. And it's going to be Seize, um, the Ogryn tribe attack base epic. And yeah, so epic champion traditionally takes half the time that it takes to attain the legendary. Where I feel like I've been chasing Arix for so long. But at the time that you get this game, is he going to be worthy for the wait? And that's what we're going to be breaking down today. But I really hope that Polarium makes a decision to bring out a new daily login, very similar to a Ultimate Death Knight or a Ninja, where you sign in for seven days and you get that champion. I was really hoping potentially this could be that, but unfortunately, it's just going to be from the other program. But all right, what does this champion do? Is he worth the wait? Let's get into it. So, with the A1, Snicker and Slice attacks one enemy, places a 50% increased attack buff on this champion for two turns if this attack is critical, with some buff chances for the damage. So, alright, single target A1, places increased attack on himself. Alright. Um, on the Night of Bat, on a free turn cooldown once booked, attacks one enemy three times and fills this champion's turn meter by 10% on each critical hit will then place a perfect veil buff on this champion for one turn. Now, I don't know what I think about this one. Um, it does hit three times, which can be really nice, as long as the damage multipliers are on point. If they're not on point, then I don't know about this one here. But you guys can let me know what you think about this. Um, on the Swarming Suffering, we're on a free turn cooldown as well, attacks all enemies, places a 30% increased crit damage buff on this champion. Which I think is a little bit underwhelming in this game, but alright. And that's before attacking. Um, heals this champion by 5% of their max HP on each critical hit. I don't know, guys. I feel like this kit is just very meh. Is it just me, guys? Do you know what it is? The problem is, it's not like an early game player is going to get this champion and it's going to help them progress in PvP. We're talking literally years to get this dude through that daily login program. But is it worth the wait? I, I'm not too sure. I feel like there's so many other kits that they can bring into the game. Apart from a subpar arena nuka in a sense. But I don't know. I don't want to kick him down too much right now. He might be hitting very hard in arena. I just feel like at the time that you get him. You've got much better champions on your roster by then. Right? But alright. With the guinea passive. With an exclamation mark. Steals 15% of the turn meter from the enemy with the highest turn meter at the end of this champion's turn and this effect cannot be resisted meaning that you do not need accuracy for this overall i think he's a bad champion like if you pull him early and you're early to mid game i think he's a really like decent champion right because we've got attacking three times we've got an aoe with damage increase with increased crit damage he's got a heal mechanic and he's got a non-resistible turn meter reduction on his passive and he has a way of placing increased attack on himself but I feel like to get the full value of his kit, you need to be doing everything because you want to open up with that increased attack if you don't have like an Arbiter or another increased attack champion. You then have to go into the A3 or A2 to attack three times and then you've got an AoE. So if damage multipliers are on point, then yes, I feel like early to mid game would be solid. But for an end game player, I don't feel like he's going to be used whatsoever. And the way that um, Polarium said that they feel like he's going to be used is apart from arena he's going to be great in faction wars and doom tower which i would agree with i feel like in faction wars he'd be a really great champion having aoe we've got triple hitters and tummy of reduction that cannot be resisted i don't know i just feel like for where he is in the game they could have done a better job in bringing out maybe a hydra champion or somebody to counter the iron twins fortress for more end game content and that's kind of the champions that i would be expecting at this stage in the game but you guys can let me know what you think about that. Do you disagree with my statement on this? I'm not going to say he's S tier because he definitely isn't from reading the kit. Honestly. Uh, maybe if he had like an increased crit rate, increased crit damage and grants an extra turn and leads into Knight of Bat to attack three times. Then I would say yes, he's actually a very valuable champion and maybe on par with somebody like a Gembo. But with no extra turn mechanics, I just feel like a no extra crit rate. I don't think he's going to hold that much value, honestly, seriously. Um, so yeah, if you guys don't, or if you're not aware of how you're going to be able to attain this, if we head into the daily login program, 
as you see here, Arix should be coming to an end at the end of this month or period. And if we look here, go to Fragment Fusions, Arix is here, and they will be the final fragments that you will need to summon her. Now, I will say hold off on your Arix until the next CVC. If, wait, how long have we got left here? So CVC is on at the moment. And we got about two weeks. Okay, so we're going to fall short. So maybe the week after, you'll be able to summon this and get your 30,000 points if you haven't summoned the Arix early. Uh, that'd be a great way to get some points for your clan. But yeah, man, I don't know. I don't know if I'm a f I'm not a fan, honestly. I'm just going to say it outright. I'm not a fan of where you, I'm not. The champion itself is OK. My issue is where we get them. Like how many champions did we have before that? We had like Cleopteryx. We had Arix. I can't recall the other ones. Uh, we had the other Knights Revenant. Uh, what was the name? Um, was that a Knight Rev? Lady Eresh we had. So it's going to be around the same time as the Lady Erish. I believe it's two months to attain epics and then the four months to attain the, um, the legendaries. So if you're just starting this game now, don't even think about getting this champion unless you summon it because it's going to be like two years before you get one. Um, is there an update on the events here? So we do have a summon rush to coincide with the uh, CVC summoning events. I believe it's a Prince Kaimo and a Mishinaki today. But just remember, we do have the fusion for the Epic Champion starting this Thursday or Friday. So if you want to go for that, it might be a good time to save off on those shards. Unless you know you're on your Mercy system and you want to try your luck to get one of those um, new champions. Because they are really great. I use Mishinaki a lot and I use Prince Kaimar a lot. But correct me if I'm wrong. Um, is this the first time that there's a one day summon rush event? Unless they're going to switch it up for each event and have three separate summon rushes. In that case, if you're a spender and you're going to summon, you can get some extra resources along the way, which is decent, I guess. Um, is there anything else going on? And we've got an Undead Hordes ending in 26 minutes from this video, but that's going to be ended by the same time this embargo lifts. So don't worry about that. Um, we have a Finite Tournament. Is there any special um, dungeon stuff going on? No. So... Yeah, guys, um, that's pretty much all I wanted to update with you today. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and let me know in the comment section if this is somebody you're looking forward to getting. I don't think it will be, but let me know anyway. Catch you on the next one. Peace.